We have enough. Good. Maybe Ember will be less of a bitch today. Should I be concerned? Her turf? So we're meeting her at her mansion? That's somehow worse. Well, there is potential there. Just wait and see. I'm going to push my limits to be the best partner in crime for you. So let me get this straight. The Pink Rhino is a strip club for plus-sized women. It's so hard to get fat nowadays, though. It's just expensive. That doesn't sound so bad. Never mind. That sounds like a deal breaker. There's a shame there's nothing like that, but wholesome. Just a dream. It makes me sad. I feel like all we can do is dream anymore. The neon lights outside your apartment give me the craziest dreams at night. Something about the buzz and their dancing colors rouse my subconsciousness. It makes me want to be more than just a bum living with you. I want to be something. Something with you. I just don't know how to get out and do better than living as thieves. You're right. Things have been a lot better with you around lately. Thank you. Okay, I will. This is the place? True. This is kind of exciting, though. Despite living in Nova Paragon my whole life and being homeless, I've never been in a strip club before. Bullet wounds?
<laughs> You'll be fine then, right? A very attractive wanted woman. Is there any etiquette I need to follow in there? Okay, I'm ready. Hey, hon. Welcome to the Pink Rhino. I'm Celeste, the hostess for tonight. What are you two cuties interested in this fine evening? You must be Lynx. Boys, take him back. Girl, you're coming with me. I've been told by Miss Ember to show you a good time. I'll be okay, Lynx. I won't agree to anything. Just good fun, right? Oh yeah, just good fun. You brought your appetite, right? To Ember, move your legs. Lynx, what a pleasure. Nothing she won't consent to. We're a wholesome establishment. No need to be harsh, hacker boy. We won't hurt your soon to be not so little girlfriend. I just want to give her a taste of the life of a rhino. It's so simple. You just feast and drink until you can't anymore, then get admired for your beauty. It's such a noble and timeless indulgence for my girls. We'll see about that. You owe me some money, 8,000 moons. That's it? No fussing over the increase in the increment from 5,000 to 8,000 looms? No, I think you'll bring me 12,000 looms. You and your girlfriend can clearly afford it. Perhaps she'll find some employment nearby, if you catch my drift. That is very much a you problem. As I said earlier, I'm offering your girlfriend employment that would make that increment a triviality for you. But enough of that. I don't have time to argue with an employee. Figure it out or you'll pay the consequences. It's that simple. Now, I brought you here for a reason. And that reason is the black diamond. They're not as high quality of an establishment as the Pink Rhino, but they're up to no good. I don't know what they're doing or why. I need you to hack into their office computer and dump their data to us. You should be able to skim off their tips for the evening with your skill set as well. Enter through the back. This is a suit you can wear to fit in with their bouncers. And in the jacket pocket is a key card. Your name on the key card, if asked is Dakota Dong. The Black Diamond is well established for having fine gigolos available for its wealthy clientele. You will fit right in if caught. Just play the role and you'll be fine. Sure, you may be forced to fuck some hideous old thing, but that's just part of the job. Too much? May I remind you your life perpetually and precariously is in the balance? You will take the simple job I have set up to use the cyberware I paid for. You will be happy about my testing of your little girlfriend. And you will do the job well, or there will 
the consequences you are not prepared to handle. Do you understand? You'll do the job, and you'll address me as ma'am in my establishment. I work very hard to make this place a success. Really? Shall I call the bouncers? Good boy. Run along to the Black Diamond. Hey, hun. Welcome back. Did you do good? She's attending other matters. She asked me to have you drop the data on the share for the rhino, then follow me. Me and the other rhinos have been busy with your little iris. She's adorable. Oh, hun, she's more than fine. I do need to check on her, though. I'll be right back while you do your upload. Is it done? Oh, this little thing. The funnel helps some of our little rhinos become bigger rhinos. Stretch the limits of their little tummies a bit. Right this way. Almost there. She's in a VIP room. Here's your bow, Iris. Maybe I can talk you into the funnel sooner next time. Hey, Lynx. Yeah, I'm fine. Just really full. Ember insisted on giving me the VIP room treatment while you were gone. Did our establishment live up to your expectations? I had a good time. Celeste is aggressive with food, though. Of course, we want all our rhinos, even the baby ones, to be well-fed and savor every indulgence I can offer. Uh, I agreed to do the funnel the fifth or sixth time Celeste asked. It was strawberry flavored and thick like cream. Stay out of this boy. She can make her own decisions. I was just talking about all the benefits to being one of my rhinos. And that, that was as appreciated as the food. <laughs> You sound like you're trying to sell me a timeshare. No, I'm good. I don't want to be a rhino right now. I enjoy my freedom. Did you get the job done, Lynx? I thought you'd never ask. It may not be today, or even next month. 
But Iris has untapped potential like you did. She will be one of my rhinos. I'll make her want it. No. I'll make her beg for it. I look forward to it. Everything okay in there? Shit, I thought they were gonna stuff me to death. Yeah, Celeste is a degenerate feeder pervert. I'm kinda into that shit, but she's pushy. You're okay? Okay. Tell me about the heist. Was it okay without me? Sounds challenging. I'm glad you're okay. I've literally never been this full in my life. I feel like I'm digesting a whole watermelon. Otherwise, I'm great. Ember was very kind, and all the rhinos were kind too. They're all so... big. Like, wow. Big. Celeste is the smallest, and she just goes room to room, pushing food on the other rhinos. Do you want me that big? Okay, good to know you don't have much of an upper limit. Just, you help me break that limit, not Ember, okay? She scares me. I can't trust her, even if it means I'd be able to laze around and eat all day. Deal. Thanks for visiting again. I see my updates to your cybernetics have helped you with your weight goals, Iris. Maybe just a little. Is it that noticeable? Not yet, but did you notice anything about me? Are you gaining weight too? Maybe a bit. I have a new boyfriend and he's all about my assets. Hey, I thought we were a thing, Lynx. I'm happy to be complimented. Now what brings you to my humble shop? <laughs> <laughs> 